Uh, what's going on, guys? Just finished a casting for a TV commercial. So, uh, hopefully, I'll get a call back. Find out some more if I get a call back. But, yeah, this was interesting. But right now, I'm in the subway. I just got myself a foot long steak and cheese sub. So. And a cookie. Uh, uh, I'm gonna eat this and then it is leg day today. Got my water. But just sitting down for a bit because there was a lot of movement within the audition. I was sweating buckets. So, um, yeah, chilling for a bit with the aircon <laughs> before I get back on the tube. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Big shot, man, listen. Alright, guys, so now in the gym, I'm doing calf raises to start uh, before I start smashing glutes and hamstrings. But the vibe, the vibe is nice. There's a lot of people here, um, a lot of decent people that actually like to lift. So the atmosphere is good and easy gym for once. And I am playing a lot of old school garage. Oh man. I might have to flick a few a few um, snippets of what I'm listening to as I go through um, the exercises I'm doing. I'm mad. Alright, back to the workout. All right, guys, so I thought I'd switch to commentary now. Um, don't want to get flagged for using that track. But um, if any of you guys want me to put together like a, a playlist, I'm, go I'm gonna try and use Spotify. Or if you guys have anything that will know of any, I don't know, websites or whatever, that I'll be able to put a playlist together um, so you guys can kind of hear what I listen to on a regular basis. I'll, put, I'll update like the playlist like once a month or something like that. But yeah, let me know if you want to if you want me to do that. So I started off with um, calves, and as I mentioned in my last video, I'm really focusing on bringing up my hamstrings. I feel it's a a weaker point for me, and I can definitely do with bringing them up, especially whilst I can't really squat at the moment because of my patellar tendon problem, which a few people have asked me, you know, how's the, how's it feeling? It's feeling a lot better now, but it's still a little bit sore and I don't want to push it yet. So I'm probably going to just stick with just hamstrings for another maybe four weeks. Now on this first set of stiff leg deadlifts, as you can see, I'm letting the weight rest and then resetting my position, making sure I engage my hamstrings and then pull. Now on this one, um, this is another reason why I like recording my sessions is I felt my back was a little bit rounded and I just wanted to, I started feeling an ache in my lower back as opposed to feeling the majority of the ache through my hamstrings. So then as you see on, on this set, um, I put the 25 kg plates underneath it just so it raised it up a little bit and it seemed to eliminate that problem. So what I really focused on doing is pushing my hips back, pushing all the pressure on my heels, keeping my back straight, engaging the hamstrings and then lifting. So it sounds quite complicated, but yeah, it, it's just make sure that my form was tight and my form was clean. All right, so just finished stiff leg deadlift. Compared to last week, it's an extra 30 kilos on. Like, like I said, last week was kind of like a, just a tester to see what you know each movement felt like. Because I haven't done stiff leg deadlifts in a long time. But, um, yeah, felt good. Made sure I reset on each one. 
<laughs> and then make sure I'm pulling from the hamstring because a lot of the time you could just pull from the lower back. Um, lower back will get a little bit sore because it will get engaged but you don't want that to be the first thing to go before your hamstrings even feel it. So now I'm going to move on to hip thrusters. Um, a little bit different to last week but I'll explain after. So it seems I repeated myself. It's alright, you know, just emphasizing the fact that it's pulling from the hamstrings. Now what I'm doing here is going, instead of going really heavy on the hip thrusters, when you go too heavy you don't really get the glute engagement which is kind of like the point of this exercise apart from hamstrings but the glute activation. So I use this one to warm up, just get really explosive movements, make sure I'm contracting my glutes right at the top of the the movement before moving on to this exercise which is glute bridges so um, this allows you to go a lot heavier as it's a slightly shorter range of motion but it's really really focusing on the um, upper hamstrings and the gluteus maximus so um, I actually went quite heavy on this I think I went for I think it was 140 kilos in total, which I can't remember what it is in pounds, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, and I felt like I had more in the tank. Um, again, just kind of sussing things out, seeing how it goes. And then I decided to go for Romanian deadlifts, but with a constant tension. So as well, different to how I did the stiff leg deadlifts where I would reset. This one it was predominantly focusing on um, constant tension. So everything has its use at different points. So people that try and preach one way, I'm not. I'm not up for that. You know, it's, it's just it's too narrow-minded, and it just it frustrates me. Everything has its use depending on you know when you're using it, what you're using it for. And then this one is uh, the first time that I've been that I've done this one, um, but I've seen a lot of people do it, and it does give a lot of hamstring and glute activation. So I went quite light because um, I also wanted to see what effect that pressure it had on my knee and my patella tendon, which I felt it a little bit, but it wasn't it wasn't that bad. I felt it mainly in my hamstrings. Didn't really feel it on my knee, um, which is good. So I'll probably continue to do this exercise and I guess what I've been doing each week is when I do a round, like do a week of training, if I found it was kind of easy or not easy but it was, it was okay to get through then I would add an extra exercise the following week so I'd have my standard plan where I'm concentrating on progressive overload and then I'll add another exercise and then after about four weeks, then I I'll, might think about changing the program. Otherwise, I'll have too many exercises to do. <laughs> or I'll just continue and just hold it at a certain amount of exercise and just make sure I'm progressing on each one. I then just finished it off with um, an improvised exercise, which is the standing um, leg curl, which is to really focus on the contraction kind of like a, a bicep curl for your hamstrings um, what I focused on here was keeping making sure my hips and my glutes didn't activate during this so keeping your body trying to keep your body as straight as possible and just focusing on the squeeze of the hamstrings but anyway that's the end of the commentary enjoy the rest of the video what's going on guys on my way home from the gym very 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 good hamstring workout as you saw when I get home I'll show you my post-workout meal um, my food's been a bit kind of erratic today I woke, I woke up a little bit late um, and then I had the cast in and then I forgot to pack my Fitmark bag so I ended up in Subway as you saw earlier as well um, that was my pre-workout snack and now it's like five o'clock and I don't think I've got enough calories in so my post-workout meal is probably going to be pretty big because I am hungry 
and it's bulking season baby so, um yeah i'm going to be starting a new kind of segment which will be kind of like weekly progress videos or not necessarily weekly just whenever i want to do it um called the transition so look out for that it's going to be the transition between men's physique and bodybuilding and that'll be um the next series which will take you through my progress i'll do weekly like physique updates um weekly macro updates if i when i start counting them again and stuff like that so yeah, it'll be interesting be interesting i think so definitely stay tuned for that but i will show you i'll catch up with you guys when i am back at the house and i'm having my massive post-workout meal peace Right guys, back home, chilling, watching the Big Bang Theory, post-workout meal, got um, some chicken and tomato sauce that I made, a um, packet of rice and baked potato. Before the vegetable police get on my case, just couldn't bother to make vegetables. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat this. I'll catch you guys later. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I never front it. I got my whole cool life.